beautiful look made by Miss Jo Baker on Lucy Boyton for Met Gala. Immediately when I saw this, I told myself that I I must, <laughs> I have to do this one. It's wonderful. By the way, I love her dress. Her dress is beautiful and her hair is also beautiful. If you haven't seen, now you can see. Her dress is by Prada and her hair is by Jenny. I will tag their Instagrams below. She is my favorite one. So Lucy had really that nice glowy face. Not very glowy, but like velvet skin maybe. Never mind. I'm starting by applying my CC cream by It Cosmetics. I'm just randomly dotting that on my face. I I'm choosing this this base because it has slightly more coverage than my MAC face and body. When I do makeup looks on myself for some events where I know that I need more coverage and where I know that my makeup uh, has to stay for a longer time I like to build up very very slowly I like to build those layers now buff everything out with this Zoeva brush and also this brush is gonna absorb all the excess Now I'm using uh, NARS Soft Matte, Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I'm putting this on the back of my hand and I'm mixing that with my Pep Start by Clinique because I want some moisture like this. And this concealer is, is from medium to full coverage and I want to just shear that out and uh, moisturize my under eyes because I have really dry under eye circles and also I don't want it to crease to to settle in my fine fine lines I'm also putting it on my chin around my mouth and blending it with my with my brush and now I'm doing ping pong concealing technique from Lisa Lisa Eldridge just to cover my my blemishes these blemishes are really stubborn <laughs> I can see if this highlighter is powder or cream I think it is powder I'm not entirely sure but I'm going to use cream because I prefer cream highlighters. As always, my Clinique, Clinique what brush I'm going to use. I'm going to use this brush that I use for my, for my foundation. I like to use brushes for highlighters that I used previously for foundations because in that way highlighters melt in skin better it looks more natural and like that highlighter from within that it's it's very 
in on red carpets and runways everywhere for the last few years and then melt everything in with your fingers and now when I'm looking at the picture I don't see any eyeshadow maybe a little bit eyeshadow but mm, almost nothing anyway I'm gonna put contour powder by Kevin Aquan on in the crease just to make some definition because I'm sure that she has something but it's not obvious it's very well blended and wonderful and also when I want to eyeshadow to disappear I like to take bigger brush and just blend everything out it looks kind of stupid but it's it, it works before this like star strikes something like that i'm gonna curl my curl my eyelashes because she has really long eyelashes with plenty of mascara on them Now for the f funny part of this tutorial, I have this liquid, liquid eyeshadow, metal eyeshadow from Ilamasco. So I'm putting first line in the middle of my eye. Like this. And then the angle maybe 40 degrees, something like that. So for now I'm just mapping. I do the lines for here and three down and I'm gonna again define them more of course that this can be shiny as hers because she has little sparkles I'm gonna brush my eyelashes and put plenty 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 of black mascara because her mascara is very very black by the way I have a new mascara this Miss Hippie from from who from L'Oreal this one I bought it on I don't know two days ago so just a layer 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 this Oh, this mascara is very heavy on the lashes. I don't like the feeling of it. But it's very volumizing, as it says. I think that I have never had more mascara on my lashes than now. I have so much mascara she has really full eyebrows I don't have very feathery looking brows and I don't have any pencil for brows unfortunately so I'm gonna use my brow gel by Maybelline now onto the face she has very sculpted sculpted face but on that very like natural side very well blended so I'm gonna use my Kevin Aquan sculpting powder in the shade light
And when it comes to blush, she has a very, very rosy, rosy blush that I, that, that's my favorite shade of blush. So I'm gonna use one from NARS palette. So when I see again this picture, I think that this from Benefit down the line, this one is, is suitable. So I'm using the same brush because I want to melt that contour and and blush. So I'm placing that on my cheekbones. And for the end, I'm putting this brighter, brighter shade. It's almost, it has some shimmer in it. And I'm again using this same brush and placing just on the apples of my cheeks for some extra dimension and shine. And for one last blend, I'm using this huge, huge brush and just I'm melting everything, just polishing everything. And by the way, I, I saw this step from Adele's makeup artist on Lisa Elder's channel. It's not going too much on the lips. I also I see just a balm, balm, <laughs> balm on her lips and maybe a little bit line lips because this is her natural lip color, I assume. So I'm gonna put just a small amount of lipstick, just tapping. This is very close to my natural lip color. Just making a stain. And I'm putting my regular lip balm that I use every day. And very, very small amount of lip gloss because her lips are very, are shiny. Not very shiny, but shiny. Just small amount. And this is the finished result. This is Lucy's Boyton makeup look for Met Gala. I really hope you like my recreation of Miss Jo Baker's look. And I don't have purple hair. <laughs> I can do her hairstyle. Also, I don't style my hair almost never. And I don't have that beautiful flower crown. And but here's the her makeup look and again i hope you like it and see you in the next one next video